April 3rd. It's Monday morning. It is 10.45 oh, in the morning, pardon me. And I thought for this portion of the vlog, I would react to an old video of mine. Well, one of many old videos I have posted. So, I found this one from like six years ago. So let me give a little quick backstory before we jump into reacting to this video. Um, so the color of my wall, as you guys can tell, is blue. And this video is six years ago. This wall was not blue. This wall was like a, like a cream color. Um, and in the background behind me, there was a little white dresser. Um, that's what the room, my room used to look like back then. Um, the reason why now it's all blue and everything is because, long story short, we had a flood a couple years ago and it went and I, my room was one of the targets that got affected so we ended up repainting my room. I picked blue, got rid of all the furniture that was in here and yeah, now it's all my own. No, all the furniture that's in this room is actually mine because before most of the furniture wasn't mine. So, yeah, so this video is six years old. And I'm currently laughing because I'm the only one that gave it a thumbs up. Haha. -ha. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Yeah, back then I used to like our own videos. I don't do that anymore, but like, oh my god. This is too funny. Oh, this video is from May 10th, 2016. Wow. Okay. Enough blabbing. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's happening? I am back from being off from my wisdom teeth surgery. But before we get into the wisdom teeth surgery story, don't forget to subscribe down below to become an official member of the Sounds and Family so you don't miss out on awesome videos like this one. And let's get into today's story time video. On Star Wars Day, May the 4th, to be with me, I had my wisdom teeth removed at the hospital. I had four removed, and let me tell you my experience. So, on the morning of my surgery, I couldn't eat anything or drink anything, including candy and gum, after midnight the next night. So, um, that morning, I had nothing to eat, nothing to drink. Um... So when it was time to get ready to go to the hospital, I went with my mom and when we arrived at the hospital, they gave me a, a bracelet because I was going to be there just the day of just day surgery. I wasn't going to be there overnight. So they put a wristband on me and then they took my ID. I'm just going to pause that real quick. Little tip it um i used to film on my computer before i got my beautiful macbook air i had a crappy acer computer i went through three of those because uh let's just say all three of them got viruses on them i don't know how but ever since i switched to macbooks i haven't gotten a virus and yeah anyways that's what i used to record on a macbook anyways Let's continue into the video. Got me all ready, and it turns out my surgery was supposed to be at 1215, and it was like before 11 that I got in, so I was the second person to get into the operating room. Um, the nurse I had that was working with the dentist that would be taking out my wisdom teeth was so rude. Like, she had no manners whatsoever. This girl was super rude and mean. She was rude in front of my mom and my grandmother. She kept yelling at me. And on the way to the operating room, I was crying because I had never been in the hospital. I had never had a surgery. 
Girl, never been in the hospital? Never been in the hospital? Okay, quick story time. I was in the hospital actually before this. Um, When I was around seven and a half months old, I got meningitis, which is a big uh-oh. And it can actually kill you. I got it when I was a baby, and by the grace of God, I am here today. Yay. So, yeah. Girl, that is a lie. You were in the hospital and you were a baby. Jeez, look at me exposing my younger self. Anyway, let's continue. And the only time I was in the hospital was when I was a baby, and that was no memory. I don't remember that. But other than that, I've never been in the hospital since then. So it was really scary for me. I was having mixed emotions and this and, and just a little tidbit, I was 19 in this video. I'm 26 now. Wow. <laughs> Anyways. First was just being plain rude. She kept yelling at me to stop crying. And then when we got... Girl. Okay, now it's coming back to me. The nurse wasn't yelling at me to stop crying. That is a lie. She was yelling at me to lay down. She yelled at me about a good three or four times yelling at me to lay down and yeah the nurse was very cranky we ended up reporting her actually so anyways moving along in the operating room she was being really mean she kept telling me three times to lay down on the operating room table i was laying down the whole time and i told her can you not be rude to me and then she said in a smirky snarky remark and she's like and she's like um i'm not being rude to you and i'm like yeah you are you're being really rude like i don't know who peed in her corn like that morning but that was no excuse for her to be mean to me so but then uh the me this, I think it's called that person that puts you to sleep and the other nurse was nice to me. Thank you, Lord. Um, when I woke up in recovery, I had a cut right here. They must have, like, put tape on my nose or... No, not my nose. Um, on my eye right here or something. And I ended up getting cut right here. I woke up with a bloody nose. My what? What? I will insert a picture somewhere in this video. Whether it be towards the end or whether it be right now, my nose was not that bloody. Okay? It was a good... Anyway, you guys will see the photo. I'll let you guys be the judge. Anyways, moving along. My lips were all covered in blood. Bullish! My lips were not covered in blood. I'm a... My younger self is a liar. I wasn't feeling... I was feeling really bad. Everything was blurry when I woke up first from surgery and I remember what I said it wasn't recorded but I did ask where Harry Styles was of course typical younger me anyways and the nurse said to me sorry honey he's not here and I'm like oh yeah yeah I don't know why anyway wow the things I said as a teenager lol oh man he caught me too and then he asked me do you have any pets? And I'm like, yeah, I have a chihuahua named Salsa. She's spicy. Yeah, my stepdad named her Chihuahua Salsa. Don't ask. Don't ask. And like, she is? I'm like, yeah. No, I was like, not completely fully awake yet. Everything was still blurry. And then, um, at that point, I asked if my mom and my grandma could come in and see me, and the minute I saw them, I started crying. And they were trying to calm me down, trying to see me, tell me it's going to be okay, everything. And, and then I told them that, oh, that rude nurse was still was rude to me, and I am like, oh, really, what did she say? And then I told them what she said, and like, oh, that wasn't very nice, and I'm like, oh, no. Hey guys, so, um, yeah, I didn't really, I was like five minutes into it, and I, and the video is eight minutes and 39 seconds. Oh, I'm cringing. Oh.
Oh my god. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Wow. The editing, what did I use for the editing software? I think I either used iMovie or some program that was on. Oh, on my computer, I forget. Oh my god. Wow, how times have changed. Oh my god. It feels weird to be looking at my younger self from like six years ago. I know that I didn't have tattoos and now that I do, it feels, oops, it feels really weird. It's like, oh my god, my arms are naked because I didn't have tattoos back then. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, so I'll insert a picture again of what I looked like after my wisdom teeth surgery when I woke up. I had a bit of a chipmunk cheeks. Um, but, um, I don't know if I mentioned the video or not, but, like, I didn't want any real food after. No, sorry. I didn't want any ice cream or any soup or anything like that after I got home from my wisdom teeth. All I wanted was real food, and I remember I tried eating a baked potato wrapped with bacon, a nice piece of steak, my favorite, and all that, and I couldn't eat it because my mouth wouldn't let me. And then it was even worse, I remember that day my Uncle Bob, um, they all went out for my sister's birthday, and they went to Montana's, and then they come back, and then he's like, oh, we should have brought you and your mom home a doggy bag, and I'm like, do you not see my chipmunk cheeks? Like, oh my god, way to, like, like, no, 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 just, yeah, so anyways, yeah, that was that, but I hope you guys enjoy this little reacting video, if you guys want me to react to more videos, let me know in the comments down below, and what should I react to next, let me know, so, and that's gonna be it for today's vlog, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're confused uh, as to why um, the intro of this old video said the Style and Sisters, um, long story short, I did this channel with two internet friends back then. I'm not friends with one of them anymore because she blocked me for no reason. I still talk to the other one, but her I don't anymore. Anyways, we did this together, and then they wanted to do their own thing, which is fine, and then I took over the channel, and then I changed it to Brie Vlogs. From the, uh, yeah, it went from the Stalins and Sisters to Brie Vlogs. But if you want a very more in-depth explanation, um, I think I explained it in my updated, updated Get to Know Me. I'll have that video linked down below, too. But anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had fun reacting to an old video with me. But anyways, that's it for today's vlog. And I will catch you guys in the next one. And dare to be different, guys. Bye.